Hey, Nia. Yeah. You want to come in here and tell people about your day? I got to tell you this shit, right? So I haven't been, you know, I've been fucking busting my ass. You know, I was getting ready to do the special and then editing all that bullshit I talked about earlier. So, you know, if you don't spend time with your wife, all of a sudden your wife gets all upset with you. Like, oh, you don't spend time with me and boo-hoo-hoo, I have fucking needs. Hey, Nia. Who are you talking about? I'm just, I'm doing a character. What the fuck did I do with the mic? There's the microphone. There's the microphone. All right. Hello. Talk to me. Hello. Talk to me, goose. Hello. Um... So anyways, yeah, I haven't been spending time with you. So I figured today, you know what? I got to go. I got to do something. <laughs> I got to do something. So yeah, I uh, took my wife to go see Casablanca today while the Patriots were on. I got to get credit for that. OK, so um, I thought it was at this old theater. I was telling you about these guys on, on uh, I think Thursday. I was telling them about it. Like there was there was all these old theaters out here that I'm obsessed with, where they had the Oscars throughout the years. Yeah, I just think of all the great you know comedians and actors and directors and everything that've been on them. I, I love that sense of history, right? Mm-hmm. So you got the Pantages, you got the fucking who's them or what's out in Santa Monica, Kodak <laughs> Theater, all these fucking places. So um, I just remember that one from the '80s that I always saw. I guess it was in downtown LA. Maybe that's the one down the other way. I don't fucking know, but I just looked them up. And I was like, you know what? I'd love to do maybe a show there, or I might want to do, um, you know, just go to something. And I, I looked up that one downtown, and it said uh, there was just a bunch of orchestras there, and then it said it was Casablanca. I'm like, I fucking love Humphrey Go Bogart. I'll take Nia to go see that shit. So we go down, and of course we show up in the theater <laughs> I want to go into. There's nobody there. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah. Yeah, it's not here. It's it's at the theater this next little, door. This little old couple. So you go up, and I'm we're walking around the theater. It's completely deserted. I'm already it's, starting to curse up a fucking storm. Yeah, Bill's already getting hot. I'm going fuck that. I was on the fucking website. I looked it up. I looked it up twice. And this I did. Little, I looked it up little twice. Old couple who are walking with their little bonnets on. Yeah, because it was raining outside. Yep. Bill asked, like, oh, is, is this where they're having the movie? I was a little more frantic than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, said, got, you guys coming from the movie? You're old. <laughs> <laughs> that was my energy. And they said, no, oh, it's across the street at the, the, the concert hall. And you had a, you're one of your classic, you, you, you made the mistake. And so you started having a little meltdown. I didn't make a mistake. Because if you look the fucking theater up and it you look at the calendar. Okay, and it says it was at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. No, you click on calendar events, and then it just it lists and it lists that. Mm-hmm. But I think the same person owns the theater. It's very fucking you know. It's like buying a car. Yeah, we got it at this lot, and all of a sudden you're down the street. It's like okay. you're in Goodfellas. Yeah, a little further down. I don't know, Jimmy. I think I'll pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> That's what they did to me. Well, anyway, it was across the street at the Walt Disney Concert Theater. At this which, symphony-looking thing that looked like a the, fucking exploded golf ball. It's designed by Frank Gehry. It's like one of the most like impressive That's like the drummer from Extreme, isn't it? No, it's a very famous architect. It's if like, you don't like what you see here, <laughs> get the funk out. What? Get the funk out, get the funk out, get the funk out. What are you singing? We won't try to. It's one of the whitest... Trying to be funky songs ever. Get the funk out. That one, and then there's the uh, some big John is my name. Anyway, Playing this building funk is my game. It's this, one of the worst. This songs building ever. was one of the most like impressive, you know, pieces of architecture in Los Angeles. It's a beautifully designed space, and Bill was just like, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at you because you were just muttering and cursing and stomping around in the rain. <laughs> And you're like, I don't want to go into this one. I want to go into this yeah, theater. The great one. I don't want to see this one. I hate I that super one. modern shit. I've done shows in those stupid symphony fucking things. You feel like you're in front of like the council in one of those Superman movies where you're like down. They're all fucking up above you and they're behind you. I fucking hate those things. So I was like, I don't want to fucking go into this thing. So I end up showing, but it's like, I got to take it to this thing. It's fucking raining out. So. Nia's all like, well, we'll go to that theater another time when it's a different yeah, event. I'm trying to like calm you down because it's not, we're going to another building. No big deal. Uh, you know, we're going to go see, and then what happened? We go we, over. We show, so we show up and yeah. I go, hey, can I get, 
And I literally said to you, go, now we're going to fucking go to this stupid ass fucking theater, right? It's probably in some small room. It's going to be you, me, and four other old people. <laughs> and the movie's, the movie's almost ready to start, right? So we fucking show up. And uh, I go up to the booth and I go, yeah, I need two tickets to Casablanca. And the person's like, oh, I don't know if there's any tickets left. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you talking about? It's raining. It's Sunday. Football's on. This fucking movie's like 80 years old. And then who's going to come see? And they're like, I don't know. I got to <laughs> check, right? And then she finally goes, well, you can't. There, actually, we found two. And I'm like, thank Christ. I'm trying to do something romantic here. It's not at the right fucking theater. Now they're going to be sold out. She goes, you got to go down two windows. So I say, fine. I kept my cool there. There. Right? The yeah. rain had rained enough on my steaming head <laughs> that I walked over. And it cooled you off a little bit. Cooled me off a little bit. And I walk over and I go, let me get two. And I, they go, okay. And then they go, and the guy goes, okay, that's going to be $161. Right. I go, $161. He goes, each. And we both were like, wait, go, what are you talking, are you about? talking about? <laughs> so it turned out. There's no way. <laughs> so this is what it turned It turns out. I think this is way too loud here. I got to turn this down here. It turns out that... Um, what was happening was the L.A. Philharmonic was going to be playing the film score while you watched the movie. <laughs> it turns out this was a major L.A. cultural event that was basically <laughs> sold out. Bill thought it was just going to be a movie. Of just four like old a screening people. for a few old people and us. It uh, turns out it's this major event. Everybody's got on like sport coats and <laughs> fucking dresses Everyone's and shit. all dressed up. I'm sitting there in my wet hoodie. <laughs> Going one hundred sixty one dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> Humphrey Bogart in there? What the fuck's going on? Right? We gonna view the view the body. Aaron Eckhart it like introduces the fucking movie. Yeah. So you know you know when you just don't thing. give a shit. I just said fuck it. So I light up the card and I go let's go in there. And then I start getting this feeling of like this might be my, this might be fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. And then there's all these ushers walking around hitting these things that are going boom. <laughs> Boom. Like letting people know that you know, that whole like you don't want to disturb rich white people that that things are about ready to start <laughs> whatever that fucking instrument is called, um, and they fucking go in there. Uh, we go in there and and like it's like holy shit, like we're gonna listen to a, the L.A. Philharmonic while we watch Casablanca and yeah. how, how fucking great was it? It was amazing. <laughs> it was such an awesome experience. So. Bill kind of fumbled, fumbled his way into a really amazing Sunday romantic afternoon. date, and I get no credit. So I get romantic. no credit because I picked the wrong fucking theater. I just totally stumped, so I can't even be like, "Ah, huh, you see that?" With the orchestra, I picked that out on purpose. He had I completely no idea. didn't. <laughs> well, oh. I feel like you definitely get points for you seeing that you saw something cultural going on. You're like, "Oh, that sounds cool." Like Nini would like that, and we went, and it, it turned out to be amazing. So. So it yeah. was, it was great. Yeah, Aaron. It Eckhart, was a hail mary. Aaron it wasn't Eckhart, even a hail mary. The, the it was actor, just like the actor came out and introduced the movie. Oh, not like the oil man. Play. Is there another what? famous Aaron Eckhart? I don't know. Are you being sarcastic? I'm being a dick right now. Was he in no? Country, was he in no? No, no country old man. He was in that. Get out of here, bitch! In the company what? of men. Uh, was yes. that him? And he was in Sully. <laughs> Sully. Yeah, he had the mustache. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> in that movie. He was in that movie. Which. Oof, that was a movie. That was a movie. 